What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more aha uh -huh, as we continue our journey through their 1993 album, Memorial Beach. Uh, I'm very intrigued because I've uh, begun to hear some different commentary, which, you know, that's going to happen anytime I go through um, a group's material um, over a longer period, a longer deep dive. Um, and more people end up commenting on the different songs and albums. So we're going to start to hear different opinions. Um, and I enjoy that a great deal. So shout out to all those of you who have offered um, your takes on the different tracks um, and the different albums. Uh, but from what it seems like, there's a few. Um, I remember Jesper was one who was saying that um, he feels this album is a sort of underappreciated album within the larger catalog. But he was saying that's kind of the reputation it has among AHA fans, that it's perhaps... Um, not as celebrated as much as some of the others, but that's sort of a shame because it's a real gem. There were a couple other people who said that it's really not their favorite. I think one person was even saying um, that it explains in a way why they eventually splintered and broke up before later reforming. Um, so yeah, I enjoy the different uh, thoughts about the album already. Obviously, I'm thinking about it in the wake of East of the Sun, West of the Moon, um, as well as, you know, part of the larger evolution of the group overall. So, um, very intrigued as we um, continue our still very early journey through this album. Uh, but we're up to the second tune in the album. Hello, Luca. And the second tune is called Move to Memphis, which, you know, as a person from the United States, I'm aware that Memphis, you know, like Nashville, um, is a sort of musical hub for certain types of music, a country in particular. Um, so yeah, it makes me wonder if it's in relation to musical scenes that are popular or part and parcel to the culture of Memphis. Obviously Memphis is a name that goes back to ancient Egypt. It was um, you know, a city in that context long before it was a city in the United States, although I think most people today if you were to say Memphis, they might think you were talking about the American city. Um, so yeah, I feel like it could go a few different ways geographically or you know, temporally or culturally, um, but I wonder if it'll have any relation to music proper. Um, I wonder if it'll relate to one of the guys in AHA spending time in the States. I know, is it, is it, is it Mags, as I understand um, they call him, or was it... I'm trying to remember who it was, but one of them, I think, spent time in New York City, and so it makes me wonder, like, you know, did they spend time in other places throughout um, the States or North America more broadly? Um, so yeah, I feel like it could go a few different ways. Obviously, without further context, it's hard to make much of, but let's get to it. This is Aha. Uh -huh. The track is Move to Memphis from the 1993 album Memorial Beach. Guitar 
transitioning into that synth was amazing. Kind of harpsichord feel. make me think very early on and I forget who it was I apologize but I you know the f it was one of the first uh, aha reactions I did I don't know whether it was take on me but it would have been within the first two or three and I said something to the effect of like oh man when he goes this way it kind of reminds me of this singer and I mentioned a few singers not just from synth pop but I think you know from a couple different um, domains or genres of music more broadly and someone commented, they're like, yo, you mentioned some really good singers. Don't get me wrong. Those are some great singers you mentioned. But none of them are on Morton's level. And it's like, the more I go through their catalog, the more I'm like, look, you know, I, I hate, like, putting a singular label on anything. But it is, like, getting increasingly difficult because it's just one of those things where I hear a lot of great singers, a lot of great groups. Um, but his voice, it really is sort of a special thing. So, again, uh, and it's now reminding me, um, you know, I've said a couple times that, it seems like he not only has a great voice, but the way they use it, the way they write for it is just fantastic. And someone mentioned um, that after they broke up, I'm trying to remember whether it was, um, again, Mags or, um, what is it, Paul? It's like, I don't know if that's the original spelling, but maybe that's like the sort of anglicized version. Um, but one of them was saying that, you know, they sort of missed writing um, for Morton's voice, and I would completely understand that. So in any case, uh, let me know what you think of the tune. I will see you next time. Peace.